Hey guys, it's Hannah from Isopod Source, and today we are going to be talking about one of everyone's favorite genus of isopods, or at least terrestrial isopods, and that would be Cubaris. So really quick, before we get into the video, uh, I got a couple questions on one of the previous videos. If we are in fact affiliated with isopodshop.com, seems like something I should have conveyed in one of the first videos, seeing as we are an isopod business, we have been in the business of breeding isopods for the last three years, and our website is in fact isopodshop.com. We do have a different Instagram and Facebook name than our domain name, and we are working on switching it all over to make everything isopod source, but as of right now, our website is isopodshop.com, so feel free to check that out, subscribe to our newsletter where you are going to receive notifications as soon as we have either a new species in stock, or old ones back in stock, or any special sales or deals that we are going to be having. But today we are talking about the best beginner Cubaris isopods. Today I'm going to be going over five species and all of these are going to be beginner isopods. The reason none of these isopods go into an advanced category is because none of them really have any special requirements. None of them need extra limestone, none of them have any specific things that they will or will not eat, none of them need crazy amounts of ventilation or very specific temperatures. So these are all very forgiving isopods that are gonna make great beginners. Another thing that they're being ranked by is price. So you can get a beginner Kubaris species anywhere from $20 to, for a culture all the way up to almost $300 for a culture plus shipping. And that is solely because of how long the species has been on the market, how many people are working with it, how many people re have been reproducing it and all of that stuff. If you watch my previous video that I made on the top 10 beginner isopods, you're gonna know my definition of beginner, but in case you do not, beginner means that all of these isopods are capable of withstanding temperature fluctuations as well as humidity fluctuations. All of these isopods require basic ventilation, which essentially just means a loose fitting lid, no other extra vents or holes needed to be added to their enclosure. Beginner also means, in terms of their diet, the, none of these isopods are going to cling to anything specific, none of these isopods are going to fail or decline in health if they are fed a certain or specific kind of food. They are very forgiving and most importantly, these, all of these isopods have large broods and reach sexual maturity fairly fast. And fairly fast, in this case, is in under six months. So let's get into it. So the first species on my list coming in at number one is Cubaris marina. So Cubaris marina are a great beginner isopod. They are a medium sized isopod, so they're only gonna grow to be about 3 eighths of an inch. They are a lovely purple color and they have the really cute and endearing face that all of the Cubaris species have. Cubaris marina are found all over the world in subtropical climates and they make a, an incredible beginner species because they can tolerate pretty cool temperatures. So if you noticed when I flipped the log initially, there were Kubaris marina that were not quite like the others, and those were the white ones that you saw. And that is what is called Kubaris marina papaya. It is just a genetic mutation that is slightly more, well, a little bit more than slightly, more expensive than the normal Kubaris marina, but they have the same exact care. They get just as big and they are absolutely beautiful. So the papaya have a beautiful pink hue to them. They are basically the albino version. So these papayas are fairly new. They've been around for almost a year, I would say, and they are a little bit higher in price than the Kubaris Marina, which you can typically get for under $20 for a starter culture. The next species also makes a great beginner isopod as well as a cleanup crew isopod, and that is Kubaris species Borneo. So as you look at these guys, you are probably wondering why they are at all different from Kubaris Marina. Literally, how do they look different? But if you take a little bit of a closer look at them and look at them side by side, you will notice that these guys are a little bit of a different color than Kubaris Marina, and they are a little bit smaller. So Kubaris Borneo are found on Borneo. They are specific 
to Borneo. So they are related to Cubaris marina, but they have not yet been identified as their own species. So the third isopod species on this list was one of my favorites when I was starting out. They always did the best for me, and in my opinion, they were one of the most big and beautiful isopods that you could have, and that is Cubaris species red edge. I've also heard them called red skirt, but I have been calling them red edge, and that is what I'm going to continue calling them. So Kubaris red edge are significantly larger than Marina. These guys get about three quarters of an inch long, which really sets them apart from the first two species that were on this list. These guys, believe it or not, actually like it on the drier side, although they can completely tolerate it fairly humid. All they require is basic ventilation, which is a loose fitting lid, nothing extra, and they devour anything. So depending on how closely you observed the first clip of me showing the red edge, you will notice that these guys also have morphs. So the second morph of these guys that we ever got was the albino, which is also called white angel as well as white. So these are the albino Kubaris red edge. These guys are extremely prolific and they actually run a little bit faster than the normal red edge. And I simply think because they are the albino version, they are slightly more sensitive to light. They're always out and about on top of the cork bark, well, and under it too, but they're always out and about looking for food. And they are one of my favorite beginner species because of their crazy color and size. And if you think that's the only morph that they have, you would be wrong. The last one that I have to show you guys is the hypo form. These are just a much more yellow, lighter version than the red edge. They are just as cool. If you're looking for a blonde isopod, that is how I would describe their color. They are kind of see-through. So the second to last species on the list is Kubaris red tigers. They may seem daunting because they are a little bit up there in price, but in reality, these guys are a beginner isopod, although they may take a little bit of time to establish, which would be the only differentiating thing from all the rest of these species, is that they take a little bit of extra time to establish. That may be because they mature a hair slower than the rest of these species, but, or at least for us in our case, they took a little while to establish, about three to five months, and then from there on they took off. These Kubaris red tigers are extremely polymorphic. They have really large broods from what I've noticed, broods of all the way up to almost 20 babies. Some of the advanced species are known for having smaller broods than these beginners, which is why the red tiger makes it in. So the last and final species is one of our favorites. And these are an isopod that I always wanna be looking at. They are just so beautiful, so captivating and so easy to care for, which blows my mind because these are the most expensive isopods on this list. This is Kubaris Shiro Utsuri. Check that out. Is that not the coolest looking isopod? They have the ducky little face that all of the Kubaris have and look at all of the black patterns. They are like the dairy cows of the Kubaris world. They are absolutely stunning. In certain lighting, they almost have a bluish hue to them. And in case you can't tell, they're not very startled by me lifting them up. These guys are incredibly tolerant of light and they are so highly active. Is an adult compared to all the babies. As you can tell, they get very large in size and all of their black patterning varies. These guys are extremely prolific and one of the most interesting isopods we have in our collection. 
The fact that they breed so fast has become absolutely shocking to us, as well as anyone who has received these isopods from us within the last few months, just because of the rate of how fast they grow and how forgiving they are in no matter what conditions you put them in. So Shiro Itsuri isopods can be found in Taiwan. They are very large, just as large as Red Edge, getting about three quarters of an inch. So that concludes our top five best beginner Kubaris isopods list, ending with Shiro Utsuri, which is the absolutely most incredible and beautiful isopod that we currently have in our collection, or at least that of the Kubaris. And our mission in breeding them is to be able to share them with you guys. And of course, before starting with something that's more expensive or jumping right into an expensive Kubaris, we always, always, always recommend starting with an Armadillidium or a Porcelio, or at least a, the wild isopods that you can find wherever you live before you go spending more than $200 on a culture of five. These guys are definitely the best beginners. These guys all fall into the categories that we've covered before in terms of temperature, humidity, ventilation, basic substrate, diet and reproduction rate, and brood size. All of these isopods can handle temperature fluctuations, but they do thrive between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Once again, thank you guys for watching. And for those who have actually been watching all the way up until the end of the video, thank you so much. It means a lot. I decided that we'd have a little giveaway here since this is already my fourth video and I haven't given away any free stuff yet. Today we are giving away an isopod Kubaris Rubber Ducky You're the One t-shirt. This is our custom t-shirt. We have them in three colors, blue, black, and white. And I just wanted to have this giveaway and say thank you to all of you guys that have been watching and that have subscribed over the last several weeks. All you have to do to enter to win this shirt is comment down below, giving me your honest opinion of the channel or whatever your favorite isopod is or your favorite ice cream flavor, just comment down below. Make sure to be subscribed to our channel. And this giveaway will be over whenever the next upload is. I'm gonna be announcing the winner in that video and we'll be sure to reach out to you before then. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and we'll see you next time.